Hello everybody, welcome back to Scrappy Adam, welcome to Scrap Backwards, and welcome to a very special celebration hot video for Mel Walkden's 500 subscriber. I am a couple of days late, I am sorry Mel, life and health. But yeah, here we are celebrating the lovely Mel. I am combining it with Scrap Backwards because I'm using product from my kit and it's Monday. But we are definitely here to celebrate the lovely Mel. If you are not subscribed to Mel's channel, please check out her description, her link in the description box down below, where you will also find a link to everybody else playing along. And there are loads of people joining Mel to celebrate, which is super exciting. So don't forget to check out the description box for all of those links. So today I am using a Scrapper Sketch sketch because I know Mel is a fan of sketches and I know that she is a fan of Lisa's and I was super inspired by this so I thought I'm going to use that. Now Mel said we could either scrap lift it or we can do a layout, just trying to find it. So we can do a layout of a person or people that have believed in you or encouraged you that you can do something you yourself thought you could not. Now, that that's all encompassing, I suppose, but that's what I'm going to do. I don't know what photo I'm using yet because it's scrap backwards, but I know that I am going to scrapbook a photo of somebody else, somebody who is really special and has encouraged me a lot over the last couple of years, and that is Kathy, aka Scrappy Kathy, which seemed fitting because today is scrap backwards as well. And I know Mel is a fan of Kathy's, and they have supported each other massively as well. So I thought it seemed appropriate. So we are celebrating the lovely Mel W, as you will have seen by the thumbnail on this video. And the sketch that I'm using is Sketch 71 from Scrapper Sketch. And it's this one with the film strips going here. We've got loads of mixed media behind. We've got one photo, some elements here and here, and a title at the top. I am not using film strips, but I will probably do this layout again using 49 The Market film strips or tickets. Both of them would work really well. But for today, I am substituting it with pattern paper. Now, Mel is also a big fan of mixed media. I am a big fan of it, but I'm not very good at it. So we're not doing mixed media as such. We're doing cheat mixed media and using a pack of 49 and market rub-ons. This is the 12 by 12 rub-on sheet from Art Options Elena. And I think I'm going to use quite a few of them, actually. We shall see. I think I'm going to mat my layout on a wood grain. And then out of my scrap backwards kit, I've pulled out a few papers. Excuse me. We've got photo play, memory lane, which is, this is the ancestry paper. I don't know when this is from. There's no year on it, but it looks quite old. I'm not sure why I think that, but. We've got Coco Vanilla Studio Happiness, which is of course 2019. We've got Coco Vanilla Studio Unforgettable, which is 2019 as well. We've got an old, old, old paper from Webster's Pages. I don't know how I have this. I must have bought it. Oh, I've not seen that. I like that. All nautically. Uh, this is from Adrienne Lumen. And it's from the Ocean Melody Collection. Never heard of that before. No year on it, but I'm guessing it's quite old. And then Pink Paisley, again and again, paper number three from, again, 2019. I thought the colours kind of match the 49 and Market rub on, kind of. Right, we've got this colour, we've got this colour. This colour kind of mixes these two. This one has them all, and then this is like a neutral. So I thought that kind of worked. My wood grain is from Simple Stories Cruising, 
from 2019 as well. 2019 is a popular year today. So that's what we're doing. Let's see how it works. <clears throat> so I'm going to start by trimming off some of my white cardstock. We're just going to trim off just a little bit. I don't want a big border on this. But I felt like I needed something to ground the layout. Uh, is that roughly equal? That will do. We're not precise around here. If you are new here from the hop, then welcome. Thank you for watching. And if you are not new here but are watching, thank you. June will see the return of some regular videos. <clears throat> In addition to scrap backwards. And we'll also see Kathy and I get back into it a little bit more. Hopefully with some lives as well. Okay, so I'm going to mat this cardstock on this wood grain. Again, I'm not looking for perfection with it being straight. Just a rough, rough one. <clears throat> it seems I can't talk and get something stuck down there, <laughs> which is kind of an issue for a scrapbooking video. But anyway, I am going to use, if I can find any, which I cannot. So what I'm going to do is take this. Yeah, it's that. And I'm going to cut some a photo mat. Now I know I don't yet have the photo. But based on the sketch, I know my photo is going to be 4x4. Four four. So I've done this photo mat as 4 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter. <clears throat> Just so I've got somewhere to like place, place it. So our photo is going to go somewhere here. We're going to have strips of pattern paper here, tight up here. So I also have a couple of interactive elements we've got this tag in vellum pocket we've got this pocket that's like that and an envelope and a little journaling spot i may or may not add that in we'll just see how it goes <clears throat> excuse me i've got a frog in my throat and i am working through these paper pads reasonably well Still got quite a few, but we'll get there. This mega kit was designed to last a few months, and that is what it's doing. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to get rid of this packaging. Because I intend on using a lot of these. So first up, we are going to have this one. Now what I tend to do... I know Katie Petit, who designs these, just lifts the film off and rubs them on. She doesn't tend to cut them out first. Now, I do that if I've got something relatively small. Like if I was doing that butterfly, I would do it that way. But when it's something a little bit bigger, I will cut it out first. A, to make sure I like it, but B, to make sure that I don't mess it up, basically, and end up pulling other things off. So I'm going to put that one up there, and we're going to have this one that's down here. Do, 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 do. So this is a lazy way of adding mixed media, isn't it, really? So, sorry I am lazy, Mel. 
But I know that you love units media, and I wanted to include something. So it's better than nothing, right? So I'm going to put that one there. And we'll see what we do with the rest in a momento. Because these are quite big, aren't they? If you haven't tried rub ons before, or you have bad experiences with rub ons, 49 of market rub ons are incredible. They always work. The quality is out of this world. The designs are incredible, obviously. And yeah, you won't be disappointed. And they're really reasonably priced as well. They do 12 by 12 rub on sheets, so like this one, for most collections. Like Vintage Artistry Everywhere had three or four packs of them. They are amazing, I have to say. And then they do six by eight ones as well. If it's with a collection, they generally have six sheets, which are really good. But then they did the Essential Text Blend one. They only have two sheets, but they're really good as well. I love them. We may add a couple of them in, we'll see. Don't want to go overboard. <clears throat> but yeah, I am a big fan of 49er Market Rubbons. There we go. And now let's see if I've got it all. Do, 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 do. If I just peel it back gently, we can check as we go that it's all stuck down. Not bad. But look at that detail. It is incredible. It always amazes me how they look. <laughs> okay, and then this one is going to go about here. Again, just rub it down. It always comes with one of these plastic sticks as well. It's basically a lollipop stick. You can use anything. I've used like an old credit card, old pair of uh, scissors like this. Inside, as long as it's flat, not sharp, obviously, because you don't want to cut your paper. Then you'll be fine. Okay. So that is the rub-ons done. I think that will all have come up. Do, 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 do. Yes. I love the way they look. I'm going to add a couple of these butterflies now, just because they're there. And because they are quite pretty, aren't they? I'm going to add this one as well because this matches the colour of some of our paper. Try and get it all working together. Um, popping down there. Perfect. Okay, that's it for the rub-ons for now. We may add a few more. Hello, I've just seen a small one that matches that that I want to add up here. Okay. Okay. There we go. So now our photo is going to go roughly here. So I am going to cut some pattern paper strips. <clears throat> Let's just bring our trim here. So they're not going to be big strips. But let's see how we go. So we're going to go this one like so and I'm going to cut a thinner one as well 
and then we'll have a little play about placing them in a moment. Uh, mm, I'm not happy with how that one looks actually. It's better. I'm only going to do one of them. Okay, then we've got this one. I like this one because it's going to give us a bit of plainness where we need it. And then we've got a bit of busyness going on with this one. So let's do that. And that. Don't need that. And that. We'll see which bits we want to use then. It's just about playing. All I'm doing is cutting into the paper straight away. Not afraid to cut paper up. <clears throat> so these are all really old papers, like I said. Okay, so let's start with... Now, I'm not sure about that one. Let's start with this. So I am going to tear the paper, which is what I do. I quite like that side, actually. So, and I think what I'll also do is put them on a bit of a wonk. Because I do like some wonky paper. So we're just going quite randomly and not paying too much attention. Where's that? Yeah, I think we are going to use that other side as well. Let's pop that like so. Now we do have these floral pieces I did want to use, so let's use one of them. This is a paper that must have come in a kit, so it's definitely not a paper I would have bought. It may well have come in a mind scrap kit, which I love because then you use papers that you wouldn't necessarily use elsewhere. Um, but yeah, so that is probably just enough, but I think we will add this piece, which is our text piece. Just going to add that there. Okay, get rid of all these little scraggly bits, don't need them. <clears throat> and we're good to go. Okay. I'm going to look in here for some paper to mat our photo. So that's a good one. Even though the icons are very travel themed, it has some pink on, which is going to draw the pink out. Uh, that's probably it. We could use that one actually. Just check the Bella Boulevard Make Your Mark pad. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. That's too bright. Is it? Let's see. Okay, we've actually got two perfect colours there, guys. <clears throat> right. So, I am going to put 
this onto here because I know that this map mat is 4.5, 4 4.25 by 4.25. So let's do that. Now I did say at the start we have these interactive pieces, but I don't know if I'm going to use them. I don't think I am. We might use that, we'll see. Or that. I'm not going to use them, so they can go. Oh, that paper is gorgeous. Now this one is blue with aeroplanes. But for matting, it's absolutely fine because you're not going to see the pattern. So even if you are scrapbooking something that's nothing to do with aeroplanes, you could still use it to map photos or your layout. Good way of using up paper with a design that you're not necessarily a fan of. So we're going for multiple maps, it seems. That's okay. Again, this one has some small icons. It's got some trains, some planes, cars, boats, and words. There we go. And then this one I'm going to do as well, just so we finish on the darker colour on the matting. So that'll be five mats that we've used, and that's okay. Shannon Alor from She's Crafty is like the queen of multiple mats, and I do love the way it looks. I don't do it all that often, probably because I'm a bit lazy. Okay, let's see. So these are going to go here. I think we will pop our photo up on some foam as well. Why not? Let's give it a bit of extra dimension. Pull that in slightly, just to make sure we get some of the overlap of the ribbon. And now I just need to decide whether to use these tuckings or not. I'm not a huge fan of the vellum pocket, but I could use it in here. Use the tag in here, maybe. That's a bit different. I think we will do that. And then I can tell the story of Kathy. Presuming that's the photo I use. I think I am going to find a photo of Kathy. Based on the prompt Mel gave us. I, I'm going to get rid of that because I'm not going to use it. And I'm not hoarding what I'm not going to use. I need a bit of thread because we can't have a naked tag hole. <clears throat> I'm going to use blue just because we've got different shades of blue in the layout. So let's pop that there. And now I think I'm going to go off and find a photo. Or should we do some embellishment first actually? Which is the correct way of course, we'll scrap backwards. So that's going to go in there. Now we've got somewhere for our journaling. We do need a title actually. So. I'm going to start off by looking at all of these open packs of copy and foam phrases. Let's see. Excuse me for one moment whilst I have a drink.
This is a busy layout, but Kathy and I are definitely busy scrappers. And I do actually quite like it, even though the colours are not my usual. Okay. Then... Get away, that could work. Obviously, I'm, I don't know what photo we're using, so it is a little bit harder, but not impossible. Because then we will find a photo to match. You could use beautiful. This is a Maggie Holmes sticker sheet, I believe. Let's have a look. Can you see what I'm doing there? Hopefully. Okay, I'm going to use that up there. That just seems to fit perfectly up there. And then I wonder if we can use... No, that's not really going with the holographic vibe. Which is fine. I'm gonna pop a gold heart there. And then we'll check if we've got anything else because you never know. I do love this uh, thicker sheet. This is from Stardust, I think. Jen Hadfield. It is a new item that I added into the kit. In fact, these are all Jen Hadfield. And for these three collections, all I bought was the thicker phone phrases because I love them. More for card making rather than scrapbooking designed but we can make it work and i've actually made a few cards of late which has been fun i've got this one here terrible for coming off though these one thing i have noticed so the little one that says grateful for you which I think is perfect given the theme of the hot that Mel set for us. So I'm going to stick that onto my little journaling spot. Like so. Love that. And then... I think happy thoughts. I love it. I, I do love... Then have those designs. I just struggle to use any more from the collection, really. <clears throat> okay, um, that's fine. What about treasure every moment together? Now that could obviously work for friends as well, couldn't it? We only had a certain amount of time together. I just need to spend a bit of time looking for a photo. So I'm going to pop that there. Yes. I like that. It's a bit random, but I like it. And that's all that matters. So these ones are actually matte. They're not silky, uh, shiny like normal ones. It's quite nice. Um, that would have worked as well, actually. But it's fine. Um, okay. Don't think we need much more. Today is my favourite memory, that's lovely. Let's fly away, you are my happy, let's celebrate you. And then, life is joyful, you are a great friend, I love that. Okay, 
I'm going to go off and look for a photo because I'd like to use one of these that says friend on it. But I need to see if there's going to be any negative space in the photo or whether we're going to utilize these spaces. And then we will finish off this layout together. I have to say, I love these. They've gone back to being a bit shiny in this one. But I will be back with you guys in a moment. So I found this space out of Kathy, which I thought worked beautifully with the layout. And I just love it. So it's a photo taken in Bilbao when we were on our cruise. So yeah, that is the one that I have gone for. Now, I think I want to use this heart. It says friends. And I'm just going to nestle it into our cluster up there. And I'm also going to use this flower somewhere as well, just because I really like it, basically. Mm, maybe I'm not. I'm going to layer it on top of that, actually. Okay. Now, I think we will finish off with some... Dun, dun, dun. Enamel dots, where are you? Here. I'm actually going to use these ones. These are enamel dots, but they are shapes from Round Trip Maggie Holmes. And these were in our... I think we got some in our kit from Vicky Bootin or from the Mind Scrap Kit. Whatever it was, I remember we both had them when we were on the cruise. So I'm going to use them. I'm using these pink hearts initially and I'm also going to add in a couple of gold hearts. I think gold will work with the colours that we've got. So we're just going to dot them about our page, like so. And I'm going a bit mad, I'm using them up because I actually really like this page. I wasn't sure at one point, I think it was the colours that were throwing me off a bit. But the result is nice. And I'm going to put one pink heart along with our gold heart there. I am going to journal on the tag and just explain why I've chosen this photo. <clears throat> I also got the enamel epoxy stickers from Starbus as well. Didn't realise I got them. And they're in the kit. So I will journal on our tag. So there's a little rainbow for you to journal there. So I will do that off camera and um, just to explain how Kathy has been an amazing friend, very encouraging, even at times when I haven't believed in myself. And yeah, that is probably it. So congratulations, Mel, on 500 subscribers. That is amazing and really well deserved. You, you, I'm so glad that you started YouTube because you are really talented, really creative an amazing scrapbooker and you are so community focused and you support everybody and yeah you've supported me a lot and being patient and supportive and encouraging and kind so thank you and congratulations and thank you for letting me celebrate with you and don't forget to check out what everybody else has been up to for Mel's Hop and also what Kathy has been up to for Scrap Backwards today she was also part of the hop for Mel as well. I think she did a video on the day though, because she is a more organized person than me. And I will be back with another video very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely week. Bye for now.